and uh, making this thing a reality. So if you're if you're wanting to support, it's always a great way to do it. In the meantime, though, looks like our other matches in this is game one, I believe. That. Game one. Now something something interesting about the, this this is the darkest hour squad, right? The, this uh, this squad is it? I I know Yaxin, but I, I don't know too much about the other three players. Is the, do you do you know a lot about them that you could tell me uh, about these players on on the left hand side? Yeah, I mean, they come in here. Uh, I believe they're the fourth seed. They qualified for pools last time. They've just been getting better and better. Uh, a, a group of players that have just been grinding out together. It's actually pretty love admirable. I, I love seeing the new up-and-comers, uh, the players that have just been improving time in, time out. And uh, M305 is kind of nasty. Uh, that's, what, that's what I got to tell you right now. I, I love this M305 guy i think his gameplay in particular has been particularly cracked but it's going to be a tough task I and mean, this kratos burton avenue shock those are four incredibly talented players glad oh, yeah. to see burton back in north america i uh, had a stint over in europe playing for that jaylings roster uh as he was uh i think he was in turkey for about all of last year wow and it's really good to see these uh, these new squads come up because you know obviously infinite's been out for over a year now and you know these 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 players have had time and they kind of come out of the woodwork and people think oh you know overnight successes but no i mean they've been grinding since the game came out they haven't stopped uh and, and you'd love to see that definitely gonna keep an eye on this m305 fellow they have 13 points on the board already Let's see if they can continue to put uh, time on the board and of course on the other side kratos you, what can you say about him self-proclaimed top five player in the game i mean what, what, what more do you want hey he's top five in any category i think uh, i think a lot of people <laughs> like to, to use that as a as a way to make fun of him but i i do think there's a little bit of truth into what kratos is saying is that he he, he can come up and be top five when he's needed right I like and I, I think uh i think kratos has proven that he's been a very effective player throughout his career got second place at worlds in, in halo 5 he he knows what needs to be done to go far in tournaments and uh you know i think he uh he, he's a little bit controversial but if i was an up-and-coming player i'd love to have a player like kratos on my team someone who who isn't necessarily focused about his stats but more focused on getting the win i love that i, I love that and you can see it right there three kills five assists already on the board i mean more than anyone in this game period but you gotta have that confidence too like talked about it before the mental is huge here comes kratos <laughs> trying to get the ninja wanted it but not yeah, gonna hit it about confidence bro <laughs> you gotta have some confidence to go for that one <laughs> ends up going down can one the hands are tricky i don't like this right here this is this this is i don't feel like he's providing a lot of value i mean he, he does provide information and the cross but uh, there's no what do you think? I think he's just hearing. He's, he's listening, and he's just hearing too many noises. He, he hears the footsteps <laughs> of two players who is right, and, he, and he's thinking that they're eventually going to push. But it's more of a better play by crowd pleasers to to not right. They're, they're right. waiting for their opportunity. They're not going to push into the camouflage player, and well, it ends up working out for them. I, it's a tough spot, right? I don't necessarily like the idea of just sitting in one spot with the camouflage, but he he didn't necessarily have another play because of what he was hearing. Right, that makes sense. I mean. If he can provide that cross without being seen, then that's the value he gets. 68 seconds and counting. Grand Shiesty with the shock rifle in hand. They do have A, but Darkus Dower doing a really solid job of holding these two calves for a long period of time. It's up to Grand Shiesty here as they push into pipes to get these kills, but the nades are too strong. He goes down. A strong play by Av and Shock ensuring that they play together, right? They, they need to break out the Shock Rifle player. The best way to do it is not to give them just one hit, to, one head to click, right? So often, uh, if you send in two, you're going to have a lot better of a chance taking down those power weapon players. I'm trying to get this power up, but it looks oh like his God, teammate Av. just robs it. No shields, too. That could have been devastating, but Burton ends up staying alive, and now Av... In a position with no shields as well has the shock rifle to, to potentially play a bit of defense here on this a side but he's gonna get pushed tricky 1v1 the nade comes out of nowhere shock gets two tricky though gonna get a for that one look at this camo just playing so impactful in this game now it's interesting how we saw the camo being a lot more aggressive this time on the side of crowd pleasers versus how darkest hour is playing a lot more passive with right. that camouflage very uh interesting to see the dichotomy uh, the dichotomy between these two teams 
And Shicey once again takes the advantage Double of the kill. low shield player, but they're gonna get the reset. Two kills though, and two down the board for crowd pleasers. That's a triple cap for just a second. It's gonna be squashed though on A side, but you can look at the bottom center of your screen. Crowd pleasers now starting to come back in this game. 75 seconds and counting tonight. Yeah, oh, it's huge three down right now as crowd pleasers. They're going to be working on the trip cap, right? And you, know, you saw the spawns at C, and this is where it gets dangerous. Is now you have Avenue with his shock rifle. If they try to get into C, you best believe he's trying to try to rip you. I don't mind the player shooting the pad, right? You're getting good damage down right there, but I think Av really has a chance to rip a head off going right. in. But man, he stops C, and Kratos is going to get that reset. This is where trip cats get dangerous. Yeah, it's up to Kratos right now. On the C side, he's getting pushed by multiple players, but Shock gets the beautiful kill on the bat ledge. Kratos does go down. Yaks is going to push this B and get the, the B control. You're going to see the rotation come out onto A using a grapple as well. So this will be a quick rotation. He doesn't have any grapple left, and that camo does come up. So he's not going to be able to utilize that grapple to get camo. And because of that, Ab will get it. We'll see what Ab's able to do with it. Yeah, Ab went incognito, but look, he's all the way at the back of C. And... He's not going to be able to have any quick access towards these hills. The uh, crowd please is really setting up for one grand push that they think is going to be effective. And, uh, those are just, you, you can't die on crosses. I was, that's one of the, the worst mistakes you can make as a player is, is getting yourself caught on a cross. The crosses are usually, if, if a player is focused on a cross, they usually be doing something more effective in the game. And you saw that one player getting killed out in the open. Just, uh, it really stops that push from crowd pleasers, uh, Cole. That push will get stopped. There was initially two dead. Argus Hour starting to get the seconds to add up here. 130 and counting. And Kratos has a nice pitch on to A, but I don't think he's aware of it. He's going to go down because of it. Av was there for the assistance, but now Av goes down as well. That's a big blunder by crowd pleasers because of that. Potentially, they continue on this double cap. A big kill there on to A will solidify a little bit of presence here and get the cross player down. And that's when you're dealing with crosses, that's the first thing to do. Get that cross player to back up, put some damage into him, then cross. That's exactly what they do. And that's a big double right there by Shock. Uh, I like the way Alex Shock plays. He's so aggressive and uh, he, he likes to, to take on challenges. And, uh, you're seeing it time and time again. He'll, he'll, he loves to get in between players, try to outplay. And, you know, I, I think uh, I think Shock really has the ability to outplay. That's why he tries to do it so often. Obviously, I think there's a time and place for it. And he right. maybe goes for it just a little bit too often. But it makes for such just such fun, exciting gameplay. And when Shock's really on, uh, there's very few players like him. He, he, uh, he reminds me of a player like Onboard that has that huge ceiling potential. It's just uh, minimizing his mistakes. I think he's going to become one of the better players in the league. It's all about that timing when you're that aggressive, finding out what the timing is and where you're comfortable. Argus Hour do get C here. Kratos looking for a push, waits for Shock to push on through. Now they get control of pipes. B is being taken, but Shicey going to go down very quickly here. Doesn't get the trade. Actually, he does get the trade. That's going to be huge. That trade is going to be ginormous. If Yax can get this kill on a B, he does. They're going to stop this B cap. They're going to reset B. Three down for crowd pleasers. That goes down as well. That's a huge kill by Tricky. And 305 swinging his way in. <laughs> he just says, hey, I'm waiting. He finds the right time, and now Kratos is in trouble as well. M305 finding the right spot, right time. Shock just able to get away with the kill. And uh, M305, he gets that kill on Shock. Suddenly, it's a really dangerous position for crowd pleasers. But this 2K from Darkest Hour, it just continues to score. And uh, while well, crowd pleasers, are, are, they just find themselves in these frustrating moments time and time again. Yeah, they, they stopped the bleeding with C, but... Now they've got to make it out of C plat. You've got to cross on the glass. You've got Grand Shiesty here on A. Shock is opting to go towards Needle here. This could be the break, but Kratos going underneath A. He's got a pistol. One of the strongest up close weapons in the game, in my opinion, is definitely underutilized. Gets that clean up as well. And now crowd pleasers answer back with a potential double cap. C being taken once again by Darkest Hour. But that camo, that's going to play a big factor in right now. Uh, Darkest Hour, do you have the positioning on that? Right, and if you're Darkest Hour, you basically bought yourself a minute, right? You have a minute to find this break until this game is about even. 
And uh, so far, you'll take those odds with Camouflage coming up soon. You hope that Tricky gets away with this. Kratos wanted to find a challenge, but just because of how weak he was, he couldn't really challenge out for that Camouflage right away. But Darkest Hour don't necessarily try to take advantage of that either. That Camouflage still up for crabs. I mean, we're going to be going 15, 20 seconds into this camo being up until it's grabbed and believe a player from crowd pleasers just grabbed it but not before darkest hour took a two cap <gasps> and he gets oh spotted. no he got caught that's huge right there because that was their entrance to potentially get control 232 and counting darkest hour looking to end this right now shock trying to get any every kill that he can there's two dead though on his squad it's a big kill here and that's some assistance from av Shock and Av gonna be working together now to get this B side, but they've got to be careful. Six seconds is all that Darkest Hour need to close this game. Well, this is interesting. It looks like crowd pleasers are gonna try to push out to C instead of necessarily putting their numbers back towards A. They're they're going for a jugular push right now. They're they're trying to put in a trip Perfect. cap at the right moment. Unfortunately, they're they're having a little bit of trouble at A. They haven't quite found the kills that they'd like kratos finally gets it they have the trip cap for now kratos not going to be able to stop that in time but i love that crowd pleasers they, they know that they need to get a trip cap to get back into this game i love that they're playing for them yeah but that was an aggressive push and now they they're down in numbers by two two down for crowd pleasers the push is going to come out on the c they do get one pick on the on the blue pipes here and they back off the cross player on top glass but kills come out once again crowd pleasers crowd pleasers go two down and Kratos goes down as well. That's gonna be it. Darkest mm. Tower gonna take game number one. Yeah, I love that they're going for the trip cap, but like I said, just because I love it doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thing, right? Everything comes at a risk, right? And the, the risk is that they just gave up too much of the map while they're playing very aggressive for that trip cap, gave a lot of options for the uh, for the counter attack. And, uh, and although they had a good chance to stop at sea, they just ended up losing some uh, important gunfights and, and that's gonna be the end of the game. Uh, honestly, uh, very, very strong holds from Darkest uh, Darkest Hour. They they really were effective at maintaining two and recognizing when to rotate, uh, when to rotate. And they were never too caught up on making sure that they had one particular hold. They're, they're very comfortable on making any rotation work. And I think that was just a big difference maker. Uh, it felt like the, uh, it felt like Kratos's team was constantly looking for that trip cap knockout blow while Darkest Hour was very content with what was being allowed to the, uh, for them to have, right? They never tried to, to overextend. They never tried to, to, to play over their means. And I think that was the biggest difference maker in the game. It's that risk reward factor we talked about earlier, but now we go into a game number two, a Slayer. Darkest Hour is definitely impressing me. I honestly, I, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought crowd pleasers take this just based off of, you know, on paper, just looking at the roster. We're going to the streets up next for game number two. We talked about this before. Four teams from this qualifier will qualify for the HCS 4K. Two teams have already qualified, Mantra and Status Quo. And now we're looking for the other two here in the lower bracket. We're watching both of them right now. We'll keep you guys updated on that previous game with the shell. I know we had to get out of that one uh, due to a crash, I believe it was. But we'll keep you updated on that. It looks like there it is. That's I weird, called for no, it, it looks, uh, and looks it's like still here. Yeah, it looks like. Well, oh, no, no. That's yeah, it looks like, like they're still waiting. That's yeah, funny. they're still in the lobby. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Lots of milk happening, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully they'll figure that problem out. But this is it right here. Game number two. A chance for crowd pleasers to answer back. Darkest hour. Very convincing. Game number one win. Yeah, and uh, now into the Slayer, they can take a 2-0 advantage. I think uh, this could be... I feel like everyone continually discounts this Darkest Hour team just because they, they aren't necessarily the most well-known names in the community. Obviously, I think most competitive Halo players that like to watch in week in, week out, know of Kratos, Burton, Avenue, and Shot. Right. Uh, that can't be the say, uh, said for this Darkest Hour team, but... Uh, they, I think right now, have been showing that they're, they're a team to be feared. I, I think when it comes to these uh, qualifiers, these online tournaments, they have consistently played well. And uh, those repetitions, they can, make the, they can make a team get that confidence that's needed when the next land comes up. See if they can close it out here. Not close it out, but close out this game too. Six to seven to score thus far. But I agree with you. I thought 
going into this matchup i i even said you know darkest hour not not players i know of very well yaxon i know of just his name i haven't really seen too much of his gameplay but like you said on the on the side of crowd pleasers everyone very known on this roster and um Kratos known to be very passionate as well, and you, you love that energy too. We need we need that in our scene. We need those storylines. We, we don't have enough of those. We'll see if storylines are built here. Seven to seven. Kratos on your screen now. Has the wall for the drop. The push is coming through, but that's an aggressive push on the ATM. That's a triple push on purple side, and it does pay off as they get two. Oh, Shock oh. tries to get the beat down, but I uh, just see yeah, it sometimes it can be tricky you know what I'm saying it just doesn't go through and tricky gets the kill unfortunate for shock but oh man you can't let those things get you down and so often as a player those small plays they have a they have a tendency to you know I don't like to use the term on broadcast too often but checked right you can get checked yeah. out when, when you don't get those sort of kills and I think that's where the top players it's about mental fortitude so often and I'd love to see some of the that mental fortitude from crowd pleasers and uh, and keeping themselves in check making sure that nothing gets uh gets to their head and you know, shock's having a really good start to the game ends up going down there but five kills to start m305 trying to play some defense on these rockets he puts the damage in so yaxon can pick them up it's up to him he gets one turns away for a second i was scared as well tools but yeah that's right? that one and gets hey, a second one kid. beautiful rockets out of yaxon yeah, well placed, knew exactly where to go, gets the job done. And right now, Darkest Hour playing like a fine tuned machine, not really uh, overextending too heavily when they're not need, uh, when they don't have the advantages. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, go for something special right there. But Kratos, he's going to be able to find the weakness in and it gets through. And that, that's where I think Kratos has been the best uh, in his game is when he's able to uh, dissect information that his teammates are giving him and, and knowing the right play to make but sometimes uh the inevitable happens and uh, m305 probably has one to go into the highlight reel the ninja on kratos from the back of a oh you hate to see it oh i love that it shows up in the feed now too nice and bright yellow argus tower controlling these power weapons Dicey does have the shock, but oh my goodness, the nades from Burton gonna take him out. And now crowd pleasers are gonna collapse. They get two down. They smell blood. Kratos has the bulldog pushing for the third. The spawn's out on PD as well. These are gonna be staggered spawns. They can get this kill. This could be huge against two. He wants the third, but he backs up. Intelligent play by Kratos. Yeah, so then you have that snapper on you, right? When you think you're a mouse and keyboard player for a second, Kratos recognizing that there's a player to his right instantly turns, obliterates, and then says, I'm going back to my fight. Oh, I love plays like that. And so often it can come down to just micro skill that can make a difference on a kill. And right now, I think Darkest Hour have played a better macro game, but crowd pleasers are keeping themselves in this thing. And well, these rockets have been the biggest difference maker, in my opinion. Darkest Hour have gotten away with them every time. And that's what needs to change for crowd pleasers. They need to be more on top of this utility. Jackson does whiff one of them though. Kratos stays alive the entire time. The call comes out. He will get one, but that's better than two, right? So 27 to 28. Darkest Hour maintain the lead, but they just lost it. Now a tie game. Crowd pleasers starting to bring this back. And right now, Av's trying to get away, but you can see that the Darkest Hour team, they're, they're roaming as a pack, right? Whenever you see these players in red start to move, there's always another one close behind them. They're not trying to take on one-on-one -on -one fights, and it's those bait and switches that have been so effective. Because crowd pleasers, although they're playing together, they're not necessarily making the same pushes together. They're listening to each other's callouts. But Darkest Hour, the people like to call it hand-holding. They're not going anywhere right. without their teammate right behind them. That's what kind of separates oh. some of the top teams. Wait, does he get that kill? He does. Oh, 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 oh my kill. word! Oh, I love plays like that from Grand Shiesty. And uh, looks like Shock's gonna have a, a tough time getting away from that gunfight. And he stays alive as well. And because of all of that, because all of that adds up, we now have a seven kill lead for Darkest Hour. They're up one zero in the series right here. This could potentially be. Not necessarily, but could could be the nail in the coffin. You talked about mentals before. I mean, this is a very staggering lead, but Crowdplay just brought it back once. The th I think the big factor here has been those rockets. Can they can they get control of maybe the last rocket here before these 10 kills are up with 15 seconds left on them? 
Acropolises just need to recognize that Darkest Hour are, are playing so close together, right? And, and just counter their play towards that. Make sure that you're trying to bait the players into a trap. Make sure that you have, uh, if, if they're gonna run in pairs, then you run in three, right? You make sure you have numbers advantages. Whatever it is that needs to get done, you make it work. But so far, the kills just keep falling in the favor of Darkest Hour. And I, honestly, I do think that the Rockets are gonna be the biggest difference maker in this game. Because so far, every Rocket has just gone into Darkest Hour's hands. Yeah, I'm not sure who did pick those up. I don't see any Rocket kills in the kill feed yet. I believe someone on Darkest Hour has them. Kratos ends up going down. Two down, make that three down for Darkest Hour, but still a nine kill lead. So they're not too worried. And you see the Rockets now in the hands of Shock, waiting a little late to utilize them. But like you said, this could be the turning point. You just got to make sure that these connect. Long range. Hey, Shock with the dart. The dot from across the map. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be enough as this game continues to go in favor of Darkest Hour. Well, yeah, you never know. Never say never, as I like to say above the border. But it's uh, it's a tough one to come back from this kind of deficit. But so far, crowd pleasers, they, they refuse to fall wow. down. That, 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 that type of challenge right there is just so confidence breaking. If you're on the other end of that, just taking like full damage when someone's one shot. That's a statement being made at that point in time. 49 to 43. Wait a minute. A little bit aggressive there. They're getting shot in the back. Is this going to be enough? Shock gets the kill. Oh, Shock gets away. Alive. 45 oh, no. to 49. Shock's going to live. No, he's no. not. He goes down. <laughs> Darkest Tower. Two to zero. Oh, no. They're going to lead the series. And wow. I mean, that was close. Dude, who let him run forward? Right? There was a player at the stairs. And I was trying to look back to see who it was. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm pissed. I was like, yo, you were right there, bro. You let him run past you to kill me. What is that? Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Hey, I love to see crowd pleasers getting a little bit tighter towards the end of that game. They just need to that have game. it earlier. And you're starting to see how the strategy of that, the hand-holding strategy can start to work against you when the kills aren't going in your favor, right? And you can start to see that they're committed right as soon as you push through the doorway you're committed when you're hand holding right you have to play for that kill and when the first player goes down too fast then the second player has to commit and well oftentimes it ends uh in disaster looks like we are seeing that uh the other match i believe is going to end in a forfeit because they can't get their computer to turn back on unfortunately oh man that is definitely very unfortunate so uh, who, who, which side did not get their computer to turn on? Uh, I believe Rob's computer just couldn't turn on. So oh, it looks like on man. more of the team. So so they were up 2-0 in the series. Uh, so yeah. uh, that's probably how it was going to go. But you do feel for the guys over at the shell. So the shell, they're going to have to bow out, uh, losing by forfeit in the game three. But, you know, sometimes that's, a, that's what happens. you got to do. It happens. Yeah, it happens. And that, that means that... Uh, Locked are going to be your third team now qualified for the 4K. Of course, the top 12 seeded teams already are qualified for next week's 4K. This is another qualifier tournament, and four teams from this tournament are also qualifying to total 16 teams. That's right. I know my math. But incredible job by all teams. Locked does secure their spot, and now we see. Will Darkest Hour, who is up 2-0 in this series close out and qualify as well or will we see crowd pleasers make the upset happen bring me back to 2008 <laughs> I, i'm all for it um i think it's a little bit surprising to be in this situation and, and to be down 2-0 if you're crowd pleasers i think there's a lot of talent on this roster i think they uh they envisioned this one being a little bit more of a back and forth but it's been two pretty convincing games from the side of darkest hour and it, i feel like the darkest hour team just keeps getting better week in week out uh, kind of scary how much they keep improving and more that they keep proving the haters wrong like keep proving the doubters wrong that they, they are a team that's going to consistently qualify for these 4ks to, to make top 16 time and time again they're really solidifying themselves as a top 16 team this is great preparation for that land tournament of course see if they can close it out here they can close it out in three with this with this win i'm sorry darkest hour looking real strong 
in this series thus far, but Double kill. it's not over till it's over. Two down for each squad right now as Tricky attempts to get the hill. Shot gets up close, but Yaxin had that heat wave. And, and so often these uh, these games are going to come down to the utility, right? The, the heat waves, the overshields, the sniper rifles. They're, they're big difference makers in these games. And, well, that shot screen's a big tool to use in order to get away with some of those utilities. But you can't get away wow. from a people's elbow. Burton from the top rope, able to take him down. And that's a frustrating moment. He felt like he got away with the overshield for free just to get a punch in the back. That's a, that's a momentum shift right there, Tools. I mean, any team is going to feel the pain out of that one. And Burton is going to be fired up with that OS kill. You'd love to see a scoreline as well. Two, three, and only one death. Three assists. They're approaching halfway of this hill. The push is coming strongly on that seaside, but they don't know that Av is there with the snipe. It's another pick. There's two players on the sea. What? They're continuing to go top turret. Finally, Grand Shicey turns around. He's gonna full chow this. This is what's scary. Av does not want to lose that fight. Because of that, he goes down to his teammate. Yeah, Av may be a little bit overconfident right there. His job is to stay alive, right? It, it's more important for him to stay alive, have access to that hill, than it is for him to get the kill. He's more of a distraction piece who happens to have a sniper, and if he hits the shot, that's great, right? But so you have to know that you need to stay alive and let your teammates do the job. He falls down first, and I think everything else starts to crumble for crowd pleasers. So and what looked like a surefire hill is starting to get a little bit mixy as you're starting to see Darkest Hour have more and more contested, but M305 hit a crazy snipe shot in order to get that player out of hill. That plays his life that time, and because of that, they're able to maintain his hill control with this kill. Ooh, the spikes come through. Tricky's gonna take it. Av goes down, that's two down. He's right on top of him, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just there like, you where are, is it? Oh my ah. goodness gracious, the shroud, the shroud screen is so debilitating. You can't, like, you can't hardly see in there. And because of that, Darkest Tower get the first cap on the board. Ooh, perfect shots for Grand Shiesty. Uh, this Darkest Hour team starting to feel themselves. And I think that's a little frustrating for crowd pleasers because they had a perfect setup, right? They had what you wanted. Two players really pushing out, uh, trying to get the players off spawn. A player with a sniper in the hill. And then and then your back player ensuring that there was no flankers coming. But it was when your hill player went down too early that just caused the hill to slip away from you. And now Grand Shiesty's priority number one if you're crowd pleasers. You have to get rid of this back anchor player and ensure that your team can safely get in this hill. They finally do. And they get rid of the top center player as well. The sniper's gonna be on the bottom center of the map. They get three and Kratos now knows this is time to get hill, but those nades are gonna push him out. No one's really able to take over. And because of that, they create timing for that Brutes ramp push. Oh, I was gonna say tricky. He's in a tricky spot, right? In between everyone with the sniper rifle, not much that he can do. That, that feels productive in that situation. And well, he goes down early and now crowd pleasers, they have breathing room, right? And this is what you're looking for as a team. You're, you're waiting for your chance to gather yourself, make sure that you're put in the right spot and, and to start getting yourself in a, in a strong position to run away with a hill. They're definitely in a strong position right now. Av has the sniper in the hill, but he's got to get that top tower control so they can contest and make sure that they get this overshield. The spawns do come out onto A. They've got two players to deal with. They do potentially get that overshield. I believe Shock went for it, but that ended up going down. So Rados gets a kill, locks in that overshield. And now in a 2v1 situation, the snipe does come through, but the hill will also connect. That's going to be a one-to-one -one game now, tied up. Yeah, it's so important to get those four downs. You saw how the game was looking back and forth, one for one trade. But then suddenly when crowd pleasers got the breathing room, right? When they were able to get three, four down and, and stabilize themselves and ensure that they, they're playing the right game, that's when they're able to get in the hill and never really look back. Uh, basically the cleanest hill that you could possibly get after that, uh, that three down. And now, uh, the only thing I, I want to criticize just a little bit is I think Do with it. the position that they had in that hill, I think they could have gotten out of that hill, let their team play forward for next rotation, and then let the player, when, they, when everything's right, then capture the hill and let that hill rotate. I think they maybe gave Darkest Hour a little bit too much free time off the rip. Yeah, they do have half the hill already. Jackson looking to 
he definitely didn't want that trade and because crowd pleasers continue to get hill time here tricky's in a tricky situation goes down as well shot gets a double that's a massive double that gives them numbers advantage and continues to give them hill time as well but yaxin with a beautiful pick on that trade there it's not going to be enough though because crowd pleasers continue to hold with avon hill as well if you're darkest hour i think you think about just giving up on this one early maybe have one more good push left on this app does go down shock okay so it's not over yet and it's Double a three kill. that go down so hey they don't give up on this hill and now at the 99 percent mark it is still up for grabs with overshield coming up as well darkest hour have a real chance to really change the momentum of this game uh, they, they're gonna steal it away yeah they are they're gonna get this hill os though in the hands oh my gosh they get the os as well they snuck the os oh, as no. well there is so much bad happening on the side of crowd pleasers darkest hour taking advantage of every moment that's that's two hills really in this game that should have gone to crowd pleasers that darkest hour able to pry away and now with the overshield hands as well I mean, this is frustrating moment after frustrating moment for uh for this crowd pleasers team We'll see if their mentals can withstand all of these frustrating moments because there have been many at the start of this game for crowd pleasers. And we're adding to it now with Yaxin at the top of the tower with a snipe in hand, looking to pick off anyone who shows their head. He does it right there. The momentum of Darkest Tower is unstoppable at the moment. Crowd pleasers really need to answer with something big here. As is the swing hill, right? Going on 3-1 in a game versus 3-2 uh, is it's a huge difference, right? 3-1, uh, I mean, 3-1 versus 2-2 two, two is, it can be, a, it changes the entire, the entire fabric of how the next bit of the game is gonna be played. Once you're up 3-1, you have the option of playing Slayer, right? You don't have to play the objective anymore. 2-2, two, two, it's a different story. You're still playing hard fought objective work. So crowd pleasers, this is a must win hill in my opinion. Great Double job by Kratos. Kill. The awareness to realize that player was bottom center gets the double kill because of it. Two of his teammates are dead though, and Darkest Hour get the favorable A spawns. That shroud screen is going to play a big factor though. Kratos going to shroud screen the window. Still has it doesn't have one left though for this overshield. That might have been a misplay here. They have the angles. That shroud screen is going to dissipate. This OS is up in a couple seconds, and oh my god, I don't know if he's going to be able to get it. <laughs> Kratos just beat that guy from across the map with the E wave. Oh, cool. oh my gosh Kratos. wow that is a <laughs> string of plays is absolutely huge that's going to allow them this second cap top five player in the game playing just like it confident as anything they tie it up two to two that's a hell of a shot that opened everything up and and like you said uh, he didn't have the shroud screen for the overshield but i think he just felt it was more important for him to stay alive while his teammates got into position and well, once they did, he, he played it perfectly. And it allowed them to get the overshield. Yax is trying to do his best to at least get something out of it. He's going to be able to get the trade. But right now, crowd pleasers, you can feel a, a complete shift in momentum after that hill. We'll see if crowd pleasers can continue. It looks like they're getting pushed here. Two down already. Full top tower control by Darkest Tower, which is exactly where they want to be. With Sniper coming up very shortly here. This could spell danger for this crowd, uh, crowd pleaser squad. You see the bottom center push. Yax is not ready for it. They're going to make it all the way through to cuts. They end up taking out Yax in a second here, I believe. Kratos gets him. The trades come out. The double, though, in favor of Darkest Tower. And Ab going to push up top center as well. Tricky is in such a beautiful spot here on top tower. He's doing so much damage. <laughs> you see, uh, he was trying to punch that box off. The, this is the bigger box a little bit ago and it, it is something to, to keep in mind those props at the top tower can be tricky every once in a while so uh, you'll, you'll notice players uh try to ensure that they don't have to worry about that but right now crowd pleasers are they're a little bit disjointed on their pushes right they, they haven't quite been able to to solidify a team push uh quote unquote and this is uh just creating a frustrating moment time and time again and darkest hour as long as they have this player alive at ta uh, top tower i think they're gonna feel secure in their hold and kratos is on his way though yeah that was oh my gosh such a good read by kratos and he gets another with the help of av spike beautiful job right there stays alive as well and he jumps up for the cleanup 
That's gonna net him a shroud screen too. And all the while you see the momentum of Darkest Hour, but time and time again, crowd pleasers with the help of Kratos start to come back in this game. I, I love seeing players when they, it feels like they're entering the zone, right? I feel like Kratos is in the matrix right now, knowing exactly how he needs to play for his team. And now with the sniper rifle in his hands as well, he, it, this is really Kratos' game to win for his team. They have the advantage. It's up to him to stay alive at tower. He's got the sniper in hand. And like you said, this is called Flow State. Triple kill. Wants to get the over. M305 is not challenging that one, but he gets a nade to the butt from Burton. And now all on spawn is Darkest Hour. Crowd Pleaser is about to get their third hill. Uh, what in more the world is that? Though? That is called the one-way smoke tools. A one-way one smoke. <laughs> but he drops off a tower, does not utilize it, ends up going down. And now Darkest Hour making a comeback here. Three down for Crowd Pleasers. Oh, don't, don't do this again. Don't do this again. It's, it's happened one too many times. We see the hill pried away from Crowd Pleasers time and time again. It's just Los by himself. Himself. Oh no, he goes down. Darkest hour. They have the spawn shock with that nade, though. This is this is so tough, right? Hey, you have to find the right push, the right way in, and shock with this heat wave. This is exactly what you need. This is the utility you want. We get the shots though. Puts one in. That player's gonna be no shields up top center. Shock does get that kill. Three down for Darkest Hour. They get the cap. Finally, close it out. They need one more to potentially bring this reverse sweep into effect. Darkest Hour wins this. They will qualify. And it's up to this man on your screen who has performed so incredibly in the second half of this game and continues to do so with that stick. <laughs> I mean, hey, Kratos, uh, he, he single-handedly won his team a, a couple of hills this time. And I, I love to see how he's been performing in general. And, and I love it when Kratos is in the zone. He's a special player to watch when, he, when everything's firing and... Uh, it really makes a big difference for his team, but they gave up an overshield, right? And this overshield can be the difference maker into making this a 3-3 game. Oh, oh, M305 just gets away with it. Huge, and they're gonna get the fourth one here on Burton. That's four, all four dead. Watch four out for crowd the pleasers. Okay, no, they oh. got the mud spots. Okay. So they're gonna spawn at top eight. I, if I'm shy, see, I'm taking a free fire. Oh my god! Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah, I love that because you can always tell that there's gonna be a player usually around their grenades. You can jump up and just take a shot every once in a while with that sniper, and sometimes it's gonna land home. He's not peeling though. Kratos is in. Kratos wants that sniper. He's pushing aggressively. The repulsor doesn't use it on Grand Shicey. He stays alive. The snipe is still in hand, but the nades come through. That's gonna be three dead for crowd pleasers though. All that damage has been done. Av takes a lot of damage as well. Isn't able to push here, and now Tricky with that snipe in hand. Answers back with two shots. One cleans one up with a headshot, but a body shot as well. The back shot. Oh, oh my word, Tricky. I just crave reticle placements from Tricky on those shots, knowing exactly where to get that thing, predicting those uh, those movements from players, and it leads to easy headshots. With one more shot left, they have tower control. This is everything you needed when you're coming in, and the shroud screen might be the biggest difference maker, right? He has two of them. He can zone off the top mid. They can focus on the perimeters while, while one player just checks the shroud screen. Tricky. Lots of confidence right now, challenging. Shock's not aware of the top tower, though. He thought Av had his cross, but Av does get the cleanup. Av, the last player alive once again. Gets a beautiful nade onto Shiesty. I believe it was Av. It's three down for Darkest Tower. A 1v1. Very, very crucial 1v1 here for Yaxon. But wait a minute. Kratos comes out of nowhere. Puts the glove on and takes out another player of Darkest Tower. Continuing on now to the C-plat rotation. Oh, Burton went up high, but Tricky he said, oh, I'll just cross map you with the heat wave. I don't care. And Oh, no, they, this is just such a tough spot for crowd pleasers. They just don't have the numbers. They have one more push active. One more push to get this done. Grand Shicey's in position right now. They're really close to capping this hill. Look at the kill feed, though. Shot goes down first. The heat wave is the matter of, it's a matter of time right now. Two down for crowd pleasers. They got to get in this hill. Darkest hour. Oh my word, by one cap, they will 3-0 this series at the moment where crowd pleasers were coming back. Darkest Hour have qualified for your HCS 4K. Hey, it was hard fought every single game, but they got the job done. And 
And it's just a big play after big play. I, that was unreal, the back and forth that we saw. I, I, my heart goes out to this crowd pleasers team because they should have won that king of the hill. They had hill after hill. It felt like Darkest Hour stole away a couple of those. Kratos had some phenomenal plays, but Darkest Hour, when they were able to get to their setups, they were very effective at holding them. Incredible hold at the end there as well. I mean, you saw how one player can really change the tide of a game, though. Tools like, and we talked about it. You said he was locked in. I, I love that. It's that's called the flow state right there. It is very difficult to get into that state online in Halo Infinite, but when you do, there's things that happen. And yes, what a beautiful sight to see out of Kratos. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough because of that. Darkest Hour will qualify for the HCS 4K. What an incredible tournament today. And again, 